a wise man once said we travel not to escape life but for life not to escape us there's so much in this world for all of us if only we could have the eyes to see it and a heart to love it this is my story of escaping the shackles of ordinary life to experience the heaven on earth and i invite you to be a part of my journey to one of the most beautiful himalayan states of india Our journey started with a flight from Delhi to Bagdogra from where we planned to reach Gangtok by road It's only when you fly that you realize the sun always shines above the clouds every day no matter the weather below May I have your attention please we have begun our descent and the passengers signs are now illuminated As soon as our road trip began from Bagdogra we hit our very first road block at the entrance of a tunnel It was as if the whole world was trying to escape from the society at once After a 45 minute wait our tires began rolling again and once we crossed the tunnel we started our ascent into the mountains ditching the crowded civilizations behind us completing a 5 hour bumpy ride on the ghat roads we finally reached our home for the night gangtok look at that car that's us say hi to me sitting in the front seat even if the languages we speak are different the one thing we all connect with is the language of music being a musician myself i get inspired by the sounds of the local folk artists from various places i visit and today was no different music accompanied by a warm bonfire on a chilly night what else could i ask for The next morning I woke up early to have a glimpse of the first sun rays lighting up the Himalayan valleys. The sunrise doesn't care if we watch it or not. It will keep on being beautiful even if no one bothers to look at it. After gazing the sun for a while, we started our journey to the snow-capped mountains. Hi Kartik. So where are you going? We are on the way to Lachung. Okay. 
and this is my first time experience with snow so i'm super duper excited <laughs> uh today we'll be staying at lachang tomorrow we'll uh travel to yungtang valley and then back to gangtok an hour into the ride it started raining heavily which completely damaged the roads ahead of us and made them slippery as hell and to add to it there were landslides all over the place on our way we came across a place where the water flow from the mountains had broken a 20 year old iron bridge the forces of nature can sometimes be destructive beyond our imagination Just look at the magnificence of that waterfall. As our journey progressed, the route became more and more dangerous. What must have been a 5-hour ride took us almost 8 hours to reach the next stop. However, for a traveler like me, it's the journey that makes the destination worth it. At last, we arrived at Lachung, having crossed all the nature's hurdles. Lachung is a small town in North Sikkim, very close to the Tibetan border, and it gets its name from the river flowing through the town. It was already late by the time we reached there, and so we decided to call it a day and set up camp in Lachung for the night. If you like the films on Advaita and would like to see better films on a regular basis you can become a patron for us on patreon.com/advaita Also please do subscribe to our channel